Namaste. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Meandering Yogi. And today we are going to be putting on, we're going to change these shoes, yeah? Um, as you guys know, and if you don't know, I've got a gravel driveway. Uh, bought this thing last year, run it last year. It did great, uh, really did super. But I wanted to buy some bigger, better feet to put under here. Um, they sell several of them that actually fit. Uh, but to me, the, the one I liked and the one I wanted was this one here. Uh, it's made by Armor Skids and uh, had a neighbor just beep at me. Um, made by Armor Skids. Um, I like the style of it. I like the fact that it's big and beefy. Um, there's two ways you can run this. It's got a thin edge and it's got a thick edge here. Uh, I guess for the type of snow you have, whether it's going to ride up on or cut into, uh, you can flip them around. Um, the only diet downside to buying these, uh, like I said, I knew I was going to have to mod uh, modify a little bit. So what I'm going to do, um, these are 3 8 bolts, so 3 8 holes all I need. I'm going to move this bolt here forward on the machine just a little bit. Uh, and that'll actually let this slide just a little bit more forward as well. That's what we're going to do today on today's video, gang. So, yeah, let's roll video. kind of tight last year huh? so 9 16 so it's going to take to get these off Thin side forward on this first one, yeah. We'll try that and see how it works out. So I ended up having to change the uh, three eighths bolts that were in here to five sixteenths. So that'll be noted. I'm probably going to put some washers behind this one because I've got a little bit of a lip right here where this body curls out a little bit just to get that little extra snow. <laughs> So uh, that lip sticks out. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of tearing anything up, is I'll, I'll space this out with a little bit of washers behind it. Yeah, I think that'll work well. Well, you can see here the difference before I take them off or to get the other one off. A lot more, a lot more area on the ground. Yeah, I think these are going to work really well, and then I can raise them up and down, you know, as I need to. So we'll give them a shot, see how they work. I did end up uh, replacing those 3 8 bolts with 5 16 so I wouldn't have to drill a hole. They ended up nice and snug. Um, I had to space it out a little bit in order to do that to, because of this lip right here. So to space it out, I actually used these factory bolt, uh, uh, the nut and washer that's on here, um, and used that to space these out. So you can see there's a little bit of space right here. That's just to keep it from rubbing on here. So actually they worked out real well and I didn't have to drill a hole. So I think it's gonna work out uh, really nice. But again, the snow will tell, right? All right, let's get this thing done.
Might have to fine tune them a little bit, but I think they'll be all right. So that was a pretty simple project, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, didn't take much. Uh, let's see, what did I do? I ch to change anything, I didn't end up drilling any holes. Uh, just uh, downsized the bolt size to 5 16 uh, And uh, what else did I do? Oh, and then I used those, uh, the, the nut and washer off the original bolts for backers uh, behind it to space it out in front of that little body lip it's got there on the, on the cowl. So uh, other than that, that's what I did, change things around a bit, um, and so far so good. Yeah, they look good, they fit good, they're tight. Uh, yeah, we'll find out, hopefully, uh, well, no, I'm not going to say hopefully, but find out possibly here in a few days if we get a little snow. I'll, uh, I'll bust it out and try it and maybe do a first video for that this year. So that's going to be about it. Much love, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and hope you enjoyed the video. I'll let you know a little more about these things as time goes on, but we got them on and we'll give them a try. Take care.